you can literally do your, your research today on tech stocks. It'll take you three to five minutes. Go, go through the NASDAQ 100, the stocks that look like they reclaim the five day moving average or the 10 day moving average. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, Monday update. Hope everybody is doing well. The, the, the question going into uh, today's day after uh, a pretty good needed, much needed uh, re uh, reset, rest, whatever you want to call it, back test. The question was, well, how long does this distribution period going to last? Usually distribution takes place four or five days. And if you watch the weekend video, uh, we talked about that we're probably gonna get a little bit more clarity uh, come Monday into Tuesday session. We just wanted to see what the price action was going to be next. Was it pretty much a back test, remount, resume back to higher, or was this a start of something more? And I tell you, when you look at uh, the pre-market activity today, yeah, I mean, the headlines came out over the weekend uh, about Tesla with their 300,000 uh, deliveries, that was cool. I mean, it wasn't really up a lot. It was up, you know, maybe 10, 11 points considering that news. He said, all right, whatever. Uh, everything else was pretty much flat and it was a very, very quiet open. And you said to yourself, oh, okay, you know what? The market's gonna play out just like pretty much that we talked about on the weekend video. You know, let the price action come to us. We'll, we'll know very, very clearly in the next day or so um, you know, what our next step is gonna be. It's gonna be very, very important. The bears start building uh, below the 10 day moving average that they held on Friday, we we're gonna go lower. And if we start reclaiming in the next day or so, the five day moving average, we we're gonna go higher. And I tell you, uh, it doesn't take a lot for the market to spark, okay? And you never would have thought that a quiet pre-market probably would have been a very, very quiet day. And again, we don't know, but probably, right? was gonna get sparked by not the, the best company on the planet, not the worst company on the planet, but the best character on the planet, and his name was Elon Musk. And the news came out, uh, he apparently took like 9.2% of shares on Twitter, right? Everything was going. So next thing you know, a quiet pre-market action and absolutely nothing going on, and probably another day for distribution, uh, turned into an absolute, um, pillage of any short bias players uh, within the first half hour. And if you look at majority of the stocks, and again, it doesn't make a difference from Tesla to Facebook to Microsoft to Amazon, it was basically one after another staircase to heaven, right? Look at, look at the 60 minute views. These are all, there was no dips in these stocks today. Staircase to heaven, one by one. Tesla and Facebook and Amazon, right? And Apple and Microsoft, I mean, you go through the whole list, Microsoft, they all look alike. So, you know, it, it really, the coolest part about um, being on this journey, right? And whether you're trading for 20 minutes or 20 years, you'll find out really, really quickly that, that the market is just not trying to trick you. I, I know a lot of traders um, have this, these built-in excuses because they're newer traders, they haven't had the experience, they haven't seen everything, they haven't been exposed to everything, and all they hear is via social media, and all they hear is different excuses why things are not happening. But the most important part is what, what is happening is the market is just a facilitator. Think of it as Amazon, right? Amazon doesn't care if you buy a screwdriver, Amazon doesn't care if you buy you know, a, a shirt, Amazon's job is facilitate buyers and sellers and be a marketplace. That's exactly what, no pun intended by the way, but I love Amazon for tomorrow. Um, but that's what the market is. It's a facilitator of buyers and sellers. It doesn't care that you're an adrenaline junkie. It doesn't care that you have 20 minutes experience. It doesn't care if you have 200 years of experience. It cares that the market is functioning majority of the time on a real time organic basis. Buyers meet sellers, buyers clean up sellers, stocks go higher, sellers clean up buyers, the stocks go lower. And the question was, was distribution going to be over today, tomorrow, or whatever the case may be? And once this headline came across about Twitter, went absolutely nuts, it was up nine, 10% pre-market, 
it just let a few, literally lit a fuse on everything else. And we literally went from a really, really potential quiet day of like distribution to, oh my God, look what the hell is going on. We'll get to uh, the pivots in a second. But everything exploded today, like literally under the sun, every institutional Wall Street darling exploded today. You can go through the NASDAQ 100, you'll see the same chart over and over and over again. And now that we got our answer of when distribution is over, the question now going into tomorrow's session, and now that you can clearly see we reclaimed the five-day moving average, which is again, a good thing, right? This whole rally took place above the five-day moving average and the two-day sell-off became right below the five days. So now that we're above the five day, again, buyers are putting on their hats again. And the question is, can we stretch out for tomorrow's session and the following day's session that we could reclaim the, the high of 271.83, the recent high off this majestic bottom move and start really cranking out going into the 380s level, which is will be realistically the last supply before, again, a potential summer run to all time highs. So when, when I did my research tonight, and again, I joked about it in the webinar today, you could, you could do your research. If you, if you trade Tesla, you know what's up. If you trade Amazon, you know what's up. You could literally do your, your research today on tech stocks. It'll take you three to five minutes. Go, go through the NASDAQ 100. The stocks that look like they reclaimed the five day moving average or the 10 day moving average. Yeah, those are the ones. Those are the ones gonna go and you know, they, you really don't have to be, again, like I say at times, very creative. If tomorrow we confirm today's price action, Tesla absolutely broke out today, monster. We had three levels today, all three confirmed. They were coming for the 1180s, they were coming for the 1190 weeklies, they were coming for the 1220s for next week, or the 1205s, one of them. But they were coming for the 1200s. This thing has a channel, if this thing confirms tomorrow and any dip tomorrow on Tesla, on the rising 60 minute has to be bought because this thing goes red to green, starts taking out today's channel. You'll see a push towards the end of the, end of the week or even tomorrow uh, into this 1190 area. It looks amazing, absolutely amazing. Amazon uh, broke out again today. Again, the key is, again, when I use the word breakout, I shouldn't use the word breakout. It reclaimed, right? It reclaimed. The, the, breakout, the, the breakout was right here. If you guys remember, the breakout was this, above this 3270 that took out this whole channel. What Amazon did was as important today. After the back test that came in, held the range, it took out two days worth of selling and reclaimed not only the five-day short-term sentiment, but reclaimed back the 200-day moving average. If you guys remember, on Friday, they came for the May 6th 3,500 calls. One dude laid out $2 million on the bet. This thing looks like it wants to go back to 3,400. Really good looking. Look at Microsoft, right? Look at Microsoft for tomorrow. This thing, huge breakout, right? Huge breakout. Hit supply, consolidate it, reclaim the five-day moving average. If this thing takes out last week's highs, there's a shot this thing gets into the 320s. Amazing, right? You got a million charts, guys. Look at Square, great looking charts. Look at Roblox, right? Maybe it's a day or two away, but look at Roblox, right? Look at NVIDIA. So go through the, you know, go through the NASDAQ 100. Again, the, no, these stocks are not hiding, okay? They're there, uh, and if you do your research, on the equity side, and as some of you guys have, well, most of you guys should by now have option scanners. If you correlate their deep out of the money short-term expiration with the stocks that are about to break out or broke out today and going for continuation, those are the names you want to focus because again, if they stretch, they're not going to trade, you know, they're not going to trade in dollar, two dollar intervals. They're going to trade in 20, 30 dollar intervals. And that's exactly what you want when tech stocks get aggressive. That's the most simplistic formula. Short term expiration, reclaiming, you know, reclaiming supply, taking out macro levels, and you usually will have a high probability because now you have the wind at your back. So let's talk about today's session. Again, incredibly, incredibly aggressive, right? And, and again, it was a nice surprise. Believe me, I did not go into today's trading session saying to myself, we're gonna have a massive premium day. No, I said, we're gonna have a distribution day. Well, let's get a little more clues. Those clues came within the first 45 minutes of the day, just went nuts. So here are the key levels on, on, on Tesla. 96, 11.05 and 11.15 macro. And you know, here's why, you know, again, guys, here's why. Here's 96, it was the previous day's channel. Here was 11.05, the previous previous day channel. And here was 11.15, the top of the range here. And this thing took out everything, went nuts, pretty much closed at the high of the day. This thing takes out 11.50. This thing should see 
1175 and then 1190 monster move uh guys i apologize for you guys on the twitter feed i forgot to put in the amazon pivot but i guess all you guys are listening through uh through the other channel anyway so i guess it really doesn't matter amazon went absolutely nuts okay i mean this was definitely one of them i think amazon uh based on that bet amazon reclaimed the 200 which was uh 3330 so all we needed was a close above 3330 look at the candle this thing put in look at the candle this thing put in in the last let me show you in the 60 minute look at the candle it put in in the last 20 30 minutes beautiful move here uh closed right at the highs this thing confirms i think this thing sees a 3400 print tomorrow beautiful beautiful move fedex congratulations for all you guys we talked about fedex on the weekend update uh 221 if it builds below can flush here was fedex right not everything uh went down today look at fedex fedex got clipped really hard 221 went all the way down to about 16 17 really nice move there one of the very few uh zen i still like the zen i don't have any it's a little too thin for me but this is the first close above 2510 look at this chart on zen we talked about this on the weekend update a little too thin for me but boy oh boy if this thing starts remounting like the the one it starts starts building 126 this thing's gonna light up so really nice move there uh well potential nice move there uh, uh visa again we talked about this on the weekend update 227 229 macro here was Visa. Considering how some of the other financials performed, it took out 227, took out 229, traded like 229 and a quarter. But you know, again, nice move there. Not, not nothing horrible uh, there at all. Uh, FedEx 217 on deck. Netflix went nuts. Again, you, you can see the theme here. All these technology names started breaking out. 384 huge level uh, needs to build. Here is Netflix, right? It took out this whole channel here at 84, and now this thing is a stone throws away of looking at this $400 level. I mean, they started coming for those some of those 400 calls, so beautiful move. This thing ran, you know, ran up today, you know, a good $12 from the pivot. Big move. I still, if, again, if the market continues, uh, this thing could really, really go. 87 on deck, and then 91 on deck. Here was, you know, here was every level confirmed on Tesla, uh, 1130s, and it went to 1140s. Here's 229 on deck. Here comes 390 on deck on Netflix uh and that is it so i apologize for not putting in the amazon pivot but again for all you guys who are listening to the audio uh of the twitter feed obviously uh you heard and you, we've been talking about amazon for god's sake the whole day uh, anything above three uh, 33 30 so great job there so that's it guys again try not to be you know try not to overthink today try not to be uh overly uh try to not to overly outsmart yourself any weakness tomorrow in tech any name that got Reclaim the, the five day needs to be bought tomorrow uh, into rising support. Amazon, uh, Amazon, uh, Tesla, right? Names like that. I love the video tomorrow. If it can just reclaim uh, the five day moving average, it's gonna be a big, big number there. Square looks great. Everything looks good, right? They just need to confirm. Again, don't anticipate, don't overthink, don't try to over rationalize. This doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Life doesn't make sense, right? We all kind of figured that out a long time ago, and now we just roll with the punches. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow.